Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 17 of the April League of Day Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. Uh, yeah, today we have a Yeezy prom, it seems like, or it's labeled as Yeezy. Hopefully, it is actually Yeezy for Larry because it seems like I make a lot of mistakes. Um, yeah, uh, I, well, just, you know, for anyone watching, um, well, today I, I went, be, uh, how, how much did I went? About like seven miles, something like that. So pretty okay. Uh, try to go for a speed workout. So a nice seven mile run. Um, I don't know. I think some part of it is you know you, you gotta figure out what you want, right? And last year, what I wanted was to do uh, a sub four marathon, and I did it. Uh, and this year, I don't really have that much motivation. So we'll see what I really want. But I still want to be in shape, of course. But um, but a marathon training is. You could argue that at some point it is not about shape anymore, but uh, yeah. Anyway, a uh, little bit of announcement. I, I, I made it yesterday, so I'll say it again today, just in case anyone is in the town. I don't know if I have time, to be honest, but I am going to go to uh, the Baltics, uh, meaning Lithuania or uh, Vilnius. Hopefully I'm saying that. I'm not saying that correctly. But, uh, and um, Latvia, uh, uh, um, meaning Riga and Tallinn. Uh, in Estonia so definitely if you're in those cities let me know and see what happens I don't know I, I don't know my schedule yet uh, and honestly it's a relatively short trip so I don't really know if I have time for anything but because uh, I'm finding it out I'm like wow there's a lot of things I want to see and I don't know if I have time for it so we will see but uh, but yeah let me know all right let's take a look at today's poem we have 2176 count eco and divisible pairs in an array uh, okay, so given a zero index integer array nums of length n and integer k, we turn the number of pairs i j where d, 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 i nums i is equal to nums j and i times j is divisible by k. Okay, uh, I guess the easy part comes from the fact that n is a hundred, so you could just do an n square algorithm, right? Uh, but we'll, uh, um, I mean, and of course we can certainly do that and then call it a night and then go to bed. Uh, but I'll give it like a couple of minutes um, to kind of see whether I can do a little bit better, right? Uh, okay, so I times J is dis 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 divisible by K. Can I do better than, um, can I do better than N squared on this one? This one, I times J divisible by K is definitely it's not something that I've seen either often or at all. I mean, other than for maybe an N-squared type solution, but I just mean like in terms of uh, thinking about optimizations that I can do, so I don't know anything off my head. Um, K is, so for example, if K is equal to 2, then that means that one of the index has to be, I mean, I'm trying to think whether you can like bucket stuff together in a good way right but i don't even know if that's true like for example if k is equal to 2 um if k is equal to 2 then you could say that okay well we could do a case analysis right you could do um even indexes count even indexes and that's that's pretty straightforward uh you could have odd indexes count odd um, indexes, or oh, sorry, odd and even, so you have at least one even indexes. So there are definitely things you can do for that, right? For example, if k is equal to 2, um, then you can have like an odd even lookup table of the numbers that you've seen and whether they're on odd indexes or even indexes, and then you can't just do the math that way. You can actually ignore odd indexes in that case, right? Um, I mean, you use it to calculate the total, but you won't use it for the future kind of thing, right? So in that way, with k is equal to 2, you can definitely do that in linear time, right? Um, but does that apply for any other number, right? Or, well, I mean, other than k equals to 1, which is just a trivial case. Uh, let's see, what, what if k is equal to 3? If k is equal to 3, I don't know. Because if number is 3, then we just count it. I mean, I guess that there is like a n times k algorithm, which obviously may be faster, may be slower, depends on k, right? Because you get there are only... Um, there 
the only k distinct states of the mod k, right? So you have each number or the each index and then mod it by uh, uh, k to kind of do that way. But I don't know. I mean, I think that's where my exercise, my thought process ends. I don't know that there's an easy way to do it, but well, not even easy, but just like an, a reasonable way to do it. So I don't know. But yeah, uh, we can do do this, right? Do, 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 right? For J in range of um, I N or I plus one N. Uh, if J, uh, I times J is equal to uh, mod K is equal to zero and num sub i is equal to j i mean the order doesn't matter though in theory uh depends on which one happens more frequently then there's some performance thing but uh otherwise this is good right maybe i could spell correctly uh yeah i mean i, I don't know i'm curious whether there is like a cooler way of doing it but uh i don't know how my time is so slow relatively uh, I mean, maybe if we looped it the other way, I don't know. I don't really care that much about this one. Uh, what did I do the other day? Yeah, if I just, <laughs> I wrote the same thing, except I put a prevents. That's actually pretty, uh, pretty wild, actually, if you think about it. Like, uh, how many years apart is this? Three years apart? Uh, I remember this, I mean, I don't remember this day, but I remember this period of time. I was in Colombia, the country. Uh, and kind of probably just rushed through it because I was like, oh, I'm in Colombia. I don't want to spend time doing this. So here you go. Uh, and yeah, yeah, we'll do it quickly. And but the more amazing thing is that like the code, as you can see, look, and maybe the spacing is a little bit different. I put a parents, but that's literally it. I use the same variable name. Well, there's only one variable name really, right? The, uh, as a choice. So I always use cap, so I don't know. Anyway uh we'll, we'll keep it easy today you know so, some days easy days are good just to keep your brains and your fingers fresh so yeah let's call it a day thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to go mental health see y'all later and take care bye bye